factor out the greatest common factor. Let's go ahead and work through this very carefully. So solution. So the greatest common factor is exactly what it says it is. It's a common factor of both of these terms and it's the biggest one. So it looks like 5 is going to be um, the greatest common factor because 5 goes into 15x and 5 goes into 10 as well. So you can do it in steps or you can do it all at once. I usually do it all at once. Let me show you how. So you know the greatest common factor is 5, so you just put it here. That's the first step. You just write it down. Then you put a parenthesis, and then you decide what goes here. So the question you ask yourself is, what do you multiply by 5 in order to get 15x? Well, 3x. And then you check mentally, 5 times 3x is actually equal to 15x. Then you ask the question again, what do you multiply by 5 in order to get negative 10? Well, negative 2, and then you write it down. And then again, you do a mental check. 5 times negative 2 is equal to negative 10. And that's it. We have factored out the greatest common factor. I hope this video has been helpful.